All right, guys, so um, fifth penalty for Man City. We should have won this game in regulation time, man. You know what I mean? Kyle Walker. Kyle Walker versus Bono. Kyle Walker. Ah, it goes in. Oh, oh, oh. Ah. Pressure on Sevilla. Pressure on Sevilla. Okay, let me, um, yeah, I don't want to play around with this, guys. The audio is in my ears. I was trying to get it out so that, you know, create a nice ambiance. But um, Sevilla with the last kick, the fifth kick. If Edison saves, we win the Super Cup. If they score, it goes to sudden death. Ah, yeah. Uh, uh. Good day. Good day. Oh, oh yes. Yeah. Yeah, baby. <laughs> we want it, man. We want it. We want it, baby. We want it, baby. Good day. The man here, good day. Ah. I think that's what his name is, right? Oh, man. Oh, man. Wow. We won it. 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 So I could, you know, let me move from in for this guy's house. This guy's looking at me like I'm some kind of creep, you know? But, damn. Damn. Yeah, yeah. Another trophy in the bag. We missed out on the community shield, which is, which is a good thing. Because when we don't win the community shield, we tend to do very well in the league. You know what I mean? So, um, you wait for Super Cup champs, man. The Champions League holders, Manchester City. Congrats to Pep Guardiola. Congrats to my team. This is our third European trophy. We won one back in the day. You know what I mean? And, uh, of course, the Champions League last season. And now... The Super Cup. So I'm hoping to add another Champions League this year. And of course, the Club World Cup. And maybe something in England. You know what I mean? A Premier League will suffice. Are we going to leave anything on the table for anybody? I want to be greedy and say no, but it's going to be difficult. It is going to be difficult. So look, let me say this, man. Congrats to all the players. Congrats to Pep. Hall up to Sevilla. They played well. When I say they played well, they pushed us to the limit. And they could have easily walked away as the champions tonight. They could have because they, they, they're worthy. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to these one-off European games, Sevilla are clutch. You know what I'm saying? And you guys know that. So, look, man, um, the squad isn't 100%. Kevin De Bruyne out for a few months. That's some really, really poor news. And I have to talk about that a little bit. That that just calls for a player like Lucas Paqueta to be brought in. Because I think we lacked the creativity today. You can see it. Haaland, not enough opportunities. Not enough service. You feel me? And uh, we need to change that. We definitely need to change that. Kovacic and Rodri. A very good defensively and they're busy on the ball but in terms of creativity they'll come up short you see what i mean because that's not their main forte that's not their main focus they're there for defensive cover and to spread the ball around with their passing ability Kovacic, i think could become a bit more um, creative on the pep guardiola but we need we need something more in that midfield with, without the Bruyne and the team because you know we, we saw it today you know what i mean failure to break down Sevilla in that first half where they were very very compact and you got to give their um their manager a lot of credit like, I I don't know his name very very well I think it's um mentally that or something like that I, I don't know the Sevilla manager um very well so <laughs> you know but credit to him credit to him and what he's done with the team from last season and everything and let me get his name properly I need I need to show him that respect and get his name um properly but look they could have easily won the game because the chances man first of all the goal scored by Yusuf Enizari we know how good he is in the air and that was a brilliant ball into the box 
I think that was by Acuna, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, oh man, that was a deadly header. No chance for Edison beating, I think, Nathan Ake, who is not that tall. But Yusuf Enizari is very, very um, tall and good in the air. So the manager's name, uh, let me see, full lineups. The manager's name, Mendiliba, Mendiliba. Mend, yeah, Mendiliba, not Mentilida, <laughs> Mendiliba. But credit to him and what he's done with the team though. But um, look, on paper, I think Sevilla looked a, a more settled unit. It might sound a bit weird seeing that it's Man City, but you know, these, these players look like they were playing in position in, and, and, and the team just looked solid. You see what I'm saying? With players like Joan Jordan, you know, you have um, Rakitic, you know, um, did I get the, did I get the, um, I say, wait, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You have Good Day. Good Day was kind of playing out of pos position, pos position though. He's usually a midfielder, uh, from what I could recall. Loic Bade, Jesus Navas, big up to Jesus Navas, former Man City player, of course. Marcos Acuna was solid, man. Solid. He gave Cole Palmer a lot, a lot of problems down on the, um, the left side there. And um, they, they played well. They looked good and they looked solid because compared to Man City, we don't have Diaz. We don't have Bernardo Silva. We, we, we didn't have um, Kevin De Bruyne as well. So that's three key players out. John Stones, he didn't even get a kick of the ball. You know what I'm saying? So we're short. And for Cole Palmer to start this game just shows Pep's trust in the youngster and his maturity as a player. You know what I mean? It's nice to see him score in the Community Shield. Nice to see him equalize today again. Roger with that ball in. And Cole Palmer, I think he was trying to play the cross goal. Maybe he was aiming towards the goal. But that was a that was a very, very good um, header into um, the back of the net. You got to give um, Bonu a lot of credit, you know. For, for what he did in goal as well. And uh, you just got to give Sevilla a whole lot of credit, man. You, you, you must. You really, really must. And look, going back to City, I think we're light in the creative department. Foden, he looked good in patches, of course. Grealish as well, but Haaland starved of service. In the back, Vardial playing at left back. I thought it was going to be Nathan Ake, but just shows the versatility of the back line where Akanji, Ake, and Vardial could play all across the line, I think. But Ake and, you know, Vardial are more left side bias, while Akanji would be more right side bias. And of course, Kyle Walker. But kudos to Edison, man. I think Edison should be given man of the match because of those big saves that kept us in the game. And he is not well known for, for those saves, but he's been coming up clutch lately. I'm just happy, man. I'm just happy. And uh, I think it was a poor first half, but we grew into the game. Second half, you know, Sevilla did have their chance, but I think we stamped authority on the match and we, we grew in stature. And uh, after that equalizer, we just was we were just a better team throughout the game. You know what I mean? If you check the stats, if you check the stats, um, City with 74% of the ball, Sevilla 26, 23 shots at goal, 7 on target, Sevilla with 8, 4 on target. You know, they could have easily won this game, but kudos to Edison and also poor finishing by Yusuf Enizari and some poor decision making as well where some balls were played into the box and the runs weren't made to get on the end of those. So um, I feel good, man. I feel really, really good. Not much more I could say about this, but I think we have a lot of work to do. We had to grind for this win on penalties, which is a positive as well, and which will give the players a lot of confidence, but we gotta do better. You see what I'm saying? We gotta finish off these games a little bit better. You know what I mean? We gotta have that killer instinct. We have to take more shots. We have to put more balls into the box. And I don't think we did enough of that today. I really don't. You see what I mean? I need our wingers to put the ball in the box for Haaland and for the likes of Rodri or the big defenders when they go up. We don't do enough for that. You see what I mean? So I think that is something that we need to work on. We give away the ball a lot. We were sloppy. We were sloppy. And this is uncharacteristic of the team. But it's early season. It's very, very early in the season. 
We won our opening game against Burnley. Won this one. We did not lose to Arsenal in regulation time, but that did lose on penalties. I'm hoping to go um, and destroy Newcastle this weekend. You know what I mean? All the best to Sevilla this season. And for my team, I just want to go out there and play the best football possible. And just keep on winning, man. Seriously. Not much more I could say, but I do think we need some reinforcements, especially in the creative department. And also, we need some, um, we need, we need, we need Jeremy Doku to run down the wings and, and torment these left backs. Seriously. I think we're lacking a bit of that, especially since Leroy Sane left the club. We're lacking a bit of that. I also think Pep Guardiola should have utilized a few more subs. Come on, man. Send Calvin Phillips out. Build up his confidence because we're going to need him this season. You know what I mean? I think he only used one sub. Laporte, you know, he might be leaving the club as well. So, there's a lot of things I could talk about. I don't want to draw, draw on this video, draw it out any longer. So, just my quick thoughts on winning the UEFA Super Cup 2023, man. Guys, congratulate us in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching. You're another one. On to the next task, and that's the Premier League, Newcastle. Then I think we might have some um, cup matches coming up in the in the what you call it, um, League Cup. Not if I'm not mistaken, Champions League also um, coming up very very soon. So guys, I'm your boy Dominic Rich. This is um, Dominic Rich FC. Thanks for watching this one, and uh, until my next video, I like to say peace out, Rich Squad. Peace.